This technique is called a head clamp takedown. And I have to tell you, it is one of my favorite, okay? So we are going to start from this position here. They are behind, okay? Now, we typically will do this from a bear hug or any technique where they are behind. And here's how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna start where he's gonna grab, okay? We're gonna do it from a um, shoulder grab with a punch. So as he's gonna be throwing the punch, he typically will pull on the shoulder to get your head to turn. So as that happens, my hands come up and I'm going to step back. Okay. I don't want to go like this. So he punches. I don't want to be here. I want to step back into that block. Bam. Now don't bring your hand back and hit. I want you to generate boom power right from this position. One. Okay. So we're on that block. One two to the groin, okay? Now, when you strike to the groin, this is gonna be the important part. His head should come forward, all right? And as soon as his head comes forward, I turn my hand up this way. So I go one, two, three. This is where his head is coming, okay? So again, one, elbow groin. His head falls down, I turn my hand up, okay? I'm gonna take my other hand, I'm gonna grab his head, and I'm gonna turn his eyes into my hip, all right? This is super important. I need to take the eyes off of the horizon, right, to take his balance away. The eyes also give you that balance. Remember, hips and ears, okay? But the eyes as well. So look, I'm driving his head, and I'm bringing him down here. So I'm displacing his balance, but I'm also taking away his ability to gain his balance by looking around, okay? Think of it this way. I'm gonna take his head and I'm gonna give him a hip strike with my hip bone on the bridge of his nose, okay? So we're here, one, two, three, I grab and I turn, all right? The other important part, why I want the head low, is that when I kneel, I'm gonna push his head to the ground. If I have his head up here, and I go to kneel down, I'm pulling on his head. He's not gonna go anywhere if he's strong. So I want this down and low. So as he grabs, one, two, three, grab head low. Okay, I've locked my arms into place. Now stay there. All I'm gonna do is kneel on the leg that is closest to him. Not on this one, okay, on this one. So I'm here and I kneel. And look, he unfolds right in front of me. I turn his chin away, I push down on the shoulder and I get my knee up. Strike, okay? I base off of his body. Now, if you remember from the nose twist, we brought the head in, we locked it into place, then we executed the takedown. This is no different. We want to protect the individual's neck. So it's not a grab and a twist on the way down. They're two separate movements. So we step one, two, three, grab, turn, kneel, keep a hold of the head. Turn the chin away, push down on the shoulder, base yourself up on them, strike, okay? Look around and get back up. Now a couple of little uh, variations. So let's say he grabs, we come here, one, two, and this hand is in the way. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna squeeze everything in super tight, and I'm just gonna kneel. Now the difference, I have this hand, I move it out of the way. Okay, so let's look at that again. One, two, three, arms in the way. His head comes down. I grab the head, I grab the arm, I twist, I get everything super close, and I kneel down. 
Move that hand out of the way, push the face away, get my knee up, strike, and step back. That's one way. This way I really like as well. This is more of an advanced way, okay? More of an advanced way of doing it, more of a dirty way of doing it, a way where I'm not gonna commit myself to the ground, okay? So as he grabs, we do the same beginning. One, two, I come in here, I grab his head. I'm gonna switch my feet and I'm gonna knee to his head. And as I pull my foot down, I sit him, okay? I simply pull his head to the floor and I sit him up, all right? One, two, three, grab, turn. Shift, knee, put his head on the ground and sit him up. One, two. Now this could be a slap. This could be diving in the choke, okay? This could be here. A lot of different options to finish this area. So let's do that one more time. One, two, three, grab the head. Turn it into your hip. Switch your feet. Knee. I take this step back, and this one's gonna move back slightly as well. I make space and I bring him straight up. Slap or choke, okay? Or get the heck out of there. So that is our head clamp takedown. 